Scratching with Rubies and Moonstones. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you like it here and will consider subscribing. And if you are returning, welcome back. And thank you so much for your continued support. I really do value each and every one of you. So today we are going to do part four of my Nefertiti series, which should also be the last video that we will be doing. So as you can see right now, I am showing you the completed portion. If you did not watch the first two videos, well, the first one was the unboxing. Um, the second one was from about here up. And then the second video was completing this section. So now for part four, we are going to complete the bottom this whole entire very confetti heavy area so I'm, I'm very excited to get this completed so i really enjoyed doing these time lapse videos and am looking forward to doing another one when i get nefertiti completed but i'm still struggling to figure out what that is but yeah i guess that's really it so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to adjust her height a bit and turn on my light pad and we'll get going see you at the end of the video
And there we have it. Nefertiti is officially finished. Sorry if you hear my dog walking in the background, but this one was so incredibly fun to do. I think it took me five or six hours to just do this bottom section alone. It was just so full of confetti. Um, and this is not how I usually work. I don't usually go by color, but being that this was going section by section with those black outlines, it just seemed to work easier that way. And honestly, I think it went faster than it would have if I would have tried to section it out like I do really big diamond paintings. Um, because then I only had to get out each color once or twice, you know, or at least three times going from top to bottom on her. So let's take a look at the entire thing here. Got some nice natural sunlight coming in. She is gorgeous. And these special drills just add some extra fun to it, in my opinion. Oh, I loved it. And I hope that you enjoyed watching her come together. I will take a picture of her completed and put in a side-by-side -side of the original artwork by Mandy Manzano. Just to see what other differences there are, I, I pointed out in another video that the um, that the red bead in the center is different um, than the original, but no, there we go. Okay, so to try and choose what to do for my next time lapse, I have made a bunch of decision wheels. Um, and so I thought we would see what happens. I'm horrible at making decisions sometimes. So okay. I made a bunch of decision wheels, including one that is telling me which size category to use, all of them, small, medium, or large. So let's see which one we're going to use. Large, uh-oh, all right. All right, this just has the large ones. Let's see what it wants us to do next. Uh-oh, where the fun never ends. Okay, this is going to be a really big project. If you happen to know what this one is, um, it's another Mandy Manzano um, based off of a show called Adventure Time. And it is really big. It's one of those long, skinny ones. So, so okay, that's what we're going to do next. Um, it'll probably end up still being broken down into parts, like how I did this video, especially since it's such a large canvas, that one. Um, I just wouldn't be able to post anything forever if I didn't break it down into sections. And then maybe at the end, I can come back and put them all together. Okay, I guess that's going to be it for the Nefertiti series. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. If you'd like to see more of my content as I create it, please be sure to subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.